Hey everybody! Welcome back to our Let's Play of Dwarf Fortress Cobalt Empire with Nerdstalgic. That's me. So, uh, in our last episode we narrowly avoided sacrificing a baby to, uh... Yeah. <laughs> sacrificing ba a baby to the, uh, to the glorious gods of uh, skill advancement. And, yeah. It was very, very narrow. Uh, the mother was extremely close to the spike room when she gave birth. Luckily, she didn't give birth in the spike room. Uh, that could have been even worse, you know, than what it what it was. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to station the uh, bronze gods in here. And we're going to start pulling the lever again. Pull the lever. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Repeat. All right, get in there. All right, and there they go. Uh, so we set up another. Okay, so we mine down. Wow, this uh, this rock layer is deep. Chances are we're probably not going to find any any other uh, metals in that rock layer. So let's go down a little bit more until we hit another layer of strata. Horrified? Why are you horrified? Yeah, it's gotta be the uh, it's gotta be the bones. It's just like I just picture like this heap of these tiny demon bones. I yeah, I can imagine it'd be pretty unnerving. But he's just gonna have to deal with it because uh, I'm not moving that workshop. Everybody's staying pretty dang busy. We still got all these clothes here that people are not taking out because they are clutter bugs and assholes. How do you have two pairs of shoes? Oh, they're socks. Oh, imagine that. Dwarves hoarding socks. Who would have thought? Uh, is this room seeing some use? Eh, a little bit. It's probably slowed down a little bit because there's just not as many tables and chairs in there, but. It's crazy. It doesn't. It seems like it doesn't matter how many of these rooms that we make, or how big they are, they always get filled up with dogs. How? How does this happen? All right. Uh, looks like our armor is taken by Fey Mood. Oh man! Please become a. Please become a legendary armor smith. Please, I beg of you. He claimed the metal smith's forge. Oh, this could be good. This could be good. Actually, I'm not really. I can't really remember if if Fey Mood is one of the ones that uh, actually give, gives you the bump. Because I know some of the some of the uh, moods you don't get the bump on. Hopefully, Fey Mood is one of the ones that we get a bump on. So, did we? Uh, no, we didn't. Oh, she, now, floodgates. Now she wants floodgates. Well, okay. Unless I read that incorrectly the first time. I could have swore it said figurines. Well, floodgates, I actually, I would prefer to figurines because at least with floodgates, I can just say, make one and it's done. You know, whereas with figurines, it's hit and miss. So. Well, we probably should cut some more wood down. Don't tell the elves. Trees, trees, trees. So is this getting yanked on? Certainly looks like it. Pull that lever. Pull it. Yep, there it goes. How, what is this, a bush? Why is there a bush in here? Pigtails. There are pigtails growing in here. So like, that's, that's even like a sneakier spike trap because you can't even see it. You're like, oh, there's nothing here, and then BAM! It comes up out of the pigtails at you. you should, whoever's standing over that should get like extra points. They should get extra points if they manage to dodge that spear. Alright, so she created Nargacast Lilari Bader, a tin shield. Well, you could have picked a better material to make it out of, but I can't necessarily, um, you know, I can't necessarily scoff too much because hopefully now you are a master armorsmith. Let's look. 
armoring. Indeed. Legendary plus five armor smith. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. All right, so now we have uh, we have the question of well, who do we who are we going to assign that shield to? Um, I really don't know. I really don't know. It probably should go to uh, you know a militia captain. So let's take a look at our uh, let's take a look here at our military roles and see if there's somebody that stands out that should probably have it. You know, Edom here has 11 kills under uh, under her belt. 10 Crundles and a Crab. Crundle Thunder has killed 11 Crundles. Uh, Onget, 3 Crundles, 3 Crundles. Now, Mordecon did kill the Serpent Man. He, that was a notable kill. He did kill the Serpent Man. How do you feel about that? Does it say anything about it? Disgusted and afraid after experiencing trauma. Nothing. Doesn't say anything about it. And then there's Tragen, who is the uh, the militia commander for the Bronze Gods. But you know, the thing is, it's made of tin. So the Bronze Gods might actually kind of scoff at that. So maybe instead it should go to uh, Tekkad here. But they're the copper cabies. And it's not made of copper, it's made of tin. Should we give it to uh, Shelly? Captain of the Guard and the Mayor. Very, very, very prestigious positions, both within the community. I don't know. Maybe we give it to Vutok. That makes a lot of sense because Vutok was the one who survived down there for so long. So let's give it to Vutok. Vutok, congratulations. You... As a testament to your service and your bravery, you are now awarded the... Uh, the Artifact Shield. Nargacast the Lari Vader. And we'll just uh, we'll delete this. That should make her super happy. I expect good things, Vutok. I expect good things. Let's see if we can clear out some of this uh, some of these clothes out of here. Socks, of course, you know, socks and dresses. And, you know, why wouldn't you just shed all of your clothes in the middle of the dining area? It makes perfect sense to me. All right, Did, have we hit another layer? Oh my God. This Gabbro just goes on forever. All right, well, let's just, let's just see. Let's just see, let's go out, you know, a good ways. Just to, just to see. Just to see. I mean, who knows? Maybe we'll hit some gems or something. But it's been to my experience that generally the, um, like I said, the the ore doesn't really vary in the, in the same strata, in the same rock layer. So Man, we, we have a lot of people uh, putting around right now and working. What's everybody doing? Lots of people shuttling items around. We got somebody actually collecting webs. So that's that's gonna be making cloth for us. That's pretty cool. Conducting a meeting. She's still conducting the meeting. That's very strange. Why? Why are you still conducting the meeting? Where is this liaison? Oh, the crundles are back. Where are the crundles? They're back. You know what that means, right? Yep, that's exactly what it means. It's time. Time for a purge. Time for a purge. 
and done. Go. We'll see who uh, who comes out on top. We'll see if Crundle Thunder holds keeps his title of Master Crundle Killer, or if we have another uh, Crundle Killer that comes up from the ranks. Maybe uh, maybe Tragen will finally get in on the action this time. Yeah, everybody is like shuttling around a ton of shit right now, but I think that's kind of the way it is. Digging, okay. Fair enough. It's like when I look at my idlers, you know, like when it's really low, I'm very hesitant to uh, start assigning out a bunch of like smoothing and engraving because, you know, everybody's staying busy. Generally, I only do smoothing and engraving to, you know, keep everybody hooked up, so. Okay. So we're mining down here. Yeah, so far, not finding anything. I mean, nothing. Not even a gem. Not even a, a sniff of a gem. Well, glad we got the floodgate done. Very strange. Well, let's take a look in here and see what's going on. Yep, they're uh, they're purging. Are they already dead? Yep, they're gone. <laughs> wow, they are efficient. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, let's reassign them. Give them the move order. Have them come back over here. Boop. Get them to train back up. But man, I, it's almost like they don't even need to train. You know, they're just they're just that good. So let's take a look and see what happened in the battle. Read our dwarves. Man, oh my god. Okay, I thought that the... Oh, Crundle Thunder. You can't, you can't touch him. You can't touch Crundle Thunder. 14. Killed three. Three more. Tragen still. He must... He Seriously, he must be, like, letting everybody else get their get their shots in. That's the only thing I can think of, you know? That's the only thing I can think of. Mordecon killed another Crundle. Good. I see some of the Ushat here. Good name. Ushat. Sturdy. Sturdy Ushat. Uh, Ushat Ringpillar. Uh, yeah, anyways. And then Shorast. One Crundle... Good, good. Ever Solon, what's going on here? You just not feeling too good? Disgust after retching on my asthma. Hmm. Well, it sure looks like they're uh, doing pretty well with their um, their basic skills here. They're you know they're going up a little bit in Mace Dwarf. It's all good. Maybe next time we'll let the Copper Caves in on the action. See how they do with it. But you know, probably just won't be as good because no Crundle Thunder. And immediately everybody sets to carrying those corpses. Hmm. Man, look at the piles of uh, broken bolts here. It's pretty amazing. All right, and then now they're back in here, so they're gonna get a little bit more training there. Looks like we we're good on wood. Very good. What's going on here with these chairs and tables? Suspended, huh? Why is it suspended? Huh? Maybe uh, just waiting on somebody to haul it. Then it says needs furniture hauling. But you guys can see what I mean. Look at that. There's just tons of shit in there. There's tons of shit in here. Like, I'm totally, totally, totally thinking about just being like, you know what, everybody out. We're gonna, we're gonna make a, like, a pasture, like an indoor petting zoo or something for all these people who want their pets to hang around. That's the only problem with the animals, having animals in the fort, is it just, it really can bog down your FPS. It sure as hell can. So. Alright. Well... What could we do? 
Are there any workshops that we don't have that we need? I think we already have a screw press, don't we? A dyer shop. Soap maker shop, sure, we could do both of those. Do we have space for them? Oops. Hmm. Looks like we have space for Yeah, we've got space. We've got space. Alright, let's put the um Let's put the dyer shop here. Yeah. Barrels, buckets, sure. And then the soap maker's workshop. Oh, we need an empty bucket. Okay, well let's let's make a bucket. We'll just make three of them. Now, before we can do any dyeing of cloth, etc. Um, ooh, Rehihili. The Forgotten Beast Dustlud Radarlar has come a gigantic blob composed of snow. It has two stubby tails and it undulates rhythmically. Alright, well, where's that at? We're gonna fight it. We're gonna fight it. Okay, it's right there, huh? What cavern lair is that? I think that's cavern lair too. It's kind of weird because our cavern lair 1 and cavern lair 2 kind of ran into each other. He's right here. Yeah, maybe that's like a like a hill. Hmm. Let's take a look at him. Gigantic blob composed. Okay, so nothing really new there. Uh, Dusslud the mysterious witch. All right, well we know what to do, right? Let's call in the hit squad, the bronze gods. I'm gonna kill it, and we're gonna call in the copper cavies as well. And we're just gonna see, uh, you know, who does the deed. Who gets the kill here, guys? Who can do it? And then let's put this guy on follow. And just see where he goes. Okay, so he's hanging out right now. Can we get to him? I think so, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely the second cavern lair. I'd really like for him to get the hell out of those tight quarters, though. I want to be able to surround his ass. Here he comes. Oh, he's down in the water. Yeah, we're not going to be able to fight him in the water. It's too deep. We'll drown. Come on, dude. Come out of the water. You can do it. Imagine when he gets sight of something, he's going to go buck wild. He's going to come out of the water and go crazy. Okay. Popped up over there. Hmm. Like, I want to see where the squads are, but... That's got to be over there by where the squads would be. Okay, he went up. There they are. There they are. No, no, that's those are peasants. Where's the squads? Where are my squads? Where are you guys at? Oh, here they come. Here they come. Ooh, it's going to get good. It's going to get real good. Nice. Nice, nice. Oh, I hope he doesn't kill any peasants before uh, before he before they can get to him. Yeah, they're running. Oh, here he comes. It's gonna be a clash at the door. Oh! oh okay. Alright, what's going on? 
Really? Is it dead? Already? Well, that was certainly anticlimactic. Like, seriously, it looked like one dwarf walked up to him and went, pow, and it was just over. Who was it? Who did that? Not that. Where's my combat log? Wow, okay. Well, they killed the cave crocodile. Looks like um, it was... Says the militia captain hacks the forgotten beast. I've got this pulled up on my screen, but I don't have it captured. Hacks the forgotten beast in the body with her copper battle axe, breaking away the tissue. The militia captain stands up. This is a fight I laugh in the face of death. This is Tekkad. No Simasab. I think that's a copper cavey, actually. Ooh. Wow. I think. Let's check. Indeed. That's the, uh, that's the leader of the caveys. Looks like they killed some cave crocodiles and some crundles and stuff while they were down there. But she didn't get the kill. That's very strange. But it's gone. It's gone. It's not there anymore. Yeah, it's dead. It is dead. D-E-D -E -D, dead. Huh. It's very strange that it didn't give... give credit to Tekkid. It was definitely Tekkid that uh, killed that. Tekkid... You deserve a new nickname after that. You are now... You are now... The, the snow ghost because it was a snow forgotten beast snow ghost nice all right cool well you know the bronze gods got shown up a little bit there by the uh, copper cavies they just counted some coup didn't they well uh, I guess that's where we're gonna go ahead and put a put a cut in on this video. That's very strange. Uh, I would have never thought that it would take like uh, one one SWAT basically to kill that forgotten beast. Uh, yeah, so I guess you can say our our militias are okay at this point. If the uh, third militia is doing that, and so in our next video, I don't know what we're gonna do. We'll do something though. We will an Olm. Crandall corpse. Probably just probably just dig down. Maybe we'll dig down to the third cavern layer and let the third cavern layer throw some stuff at us. See if there's anything down there for us to kill. That would be fun, I think. Yeah. So but that'll be in the next video. So thank you guys so much for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, game on.